I am here to report on this beautiful, glorious Sunday morning that the fallout continues. The F around and find out stage continues for Candace Owens. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Tabitha Speaks Politics. I am your host, Tabitha, and yes, we are still on the road to 500,000 subscribers. Now listen, I realize that this is going to be a long journey along this road to 500,000 subscribers, but with all of you that have jumped on board to take this journey with me, I thank you. We'll have some fun all along this journey. And if you've come across this video and are not subscribed to this channel and you want to join us in this journey to 500,000 subscribers, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I would be happy to have you. Yes, everybody. Candace Owens is still in the F around and find out stage. What is she finding out now? Not everybody is as welcoming to her bigotry, her misogyny, her conspiracy theories, her anti-Semitism, all of her lies. Not everyone is open to hearing that. And Australia is telling her loud and clear, we don't want you here in our country, spreading your lies, your hatred, your bigotry, your anti-Semitism, your racism, or your conspiracy theories. You are banned from our country. Yes, Australia is not having it. Australia said, no, you cannot come here. Visa revoked. <laughs> Here's what's going on. Candace Owens is on some type of speaking engagement tour and she had a stop scheduled in Australia. She was going to be stopping in five different places in Australia. Let me get my notes here. She was going to be going to Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth, and Adelaide. And get this. The tickets were ranging from $95 for general admission, $295 for a VIP meet and greet. And if you wanted to have a private dinner and conversation with Candace Owens, the tickets would start at $1,500. When we tell you that for her pushing bigotry, racism, division, hatred, pushing that is a money maker for her. It is a money maker for her. It is a grift for her. And for whatever reason, she jumped off of, well, I have an idea. I'll explain it in a minute. She jumped off of the black community, right? And, and when she was fired from over there with Ben, Shap is it Ben Shapiro? Yeah, Ben Shapiro and and um, the guy that's over Prager University, Prager U, when, when they fired her, kicked her to the curb, that's when she jumped from black people to Jewish people, right? That's when she started all of the anti-Semitism. So I believe the reason why she's on this tear about Jewish history, Judaism, and anti-Semitism is because she's using that to attack those who kicked her to the curb, Ben Shapiro and um, Dennis Prager of Prager U. But Australia said, no, mm -mm, we, we don't want your kind here. Tim Burke, the immigration minister, um, came out and admitted that her visa um, application was canceled. She's banned from coming to this country and is quoted as saying, 
from downplaying the impact of the Holocaust with comments about German SS officer Joseph Mengele, I apologize if I pronounced that name wrong, through to claims that Muslims started slavery, Candace Owens has the capacity to incite discord in almost every direction. Australia's national interest is best served when Candace Owens is somewhere else. End quote. That was a direct quote, quote from Tony Burke, the immigration minister of Australia. <laughs> he said Australia's national interest is best served when Candace Owens is somewhere else else and i don't blame him candace owens has been saying some horrific things about the jewish community she has been saying some anti-muslim things anti um um she transphobic things she's been and you know she for years she's been saying anti-black things racist things horrible things about the black community and she does this to make money. Now with all of the things that Candace Owens has said about Jewish people, all of the anti-Semitism, all of the conspiracy theories, the revisionist history that she has been doing, get this, Candace Owens has basically said that she is shocked to learn that there have been calls for her visa application to be revoked. She told this to 2GB, an Australia radio station, back in August. Quote, I promise you it's not going to harm you to hear different ideas. End quote. Hear different ideas? Girl, you are demonizing a religion. You are demonizing a group of people. And your demonization into these people is based on bigotry. It's based on your need to use them to attack the two Jewish people that kicked you to the curb. It's not grounded in reality and facts. Candace Owens has been quoted as saying, she accused Sigmund Freud of pedophilia and of using psychoanalysis to tell rape victims they were attracted to their fathers. Quote, no, they were being raped when they were seven years old because that's what you do when you worship the Kabbalah. End quote. That's a quote coming from um, Candace Owens. She's also been quoted as saying, um, that Judaism is a pedophile centric religion that believes in demons and child sacrifice. Mm -hmm. That's Candace Owens. That's that's her difference of ideas. Candace Owens. Nobody wants to listen to these opinions of yours that's based on on conspiracy theories it sounds a whole lot about like that QAnon cult that's what this sounds like you have delved into trying to bring these people on to your grift that's what it sounds like to me now of course of course some Jewish organizations are ecstatic about this decision. The Zionist Federation of Australia Chief Executive Alan Casuto welcomed the news that Owens had been denied entry into Australia and is quoted as saying, bigotry and anti-Semitism are unacceptable in any form regardless of whether they originate from the far left or the right. For the sake of our nation's social cohesion, there is no place in Australia for Candace Owens, end quote. The Anti-Defamation Commission called this decision victory for truth. 
the visa cancellation of Owens, a known peddler of dangerous rhetoric against Jews and other groups, an unapologetic Holocaust denial is a victory for the millions of Jewish souls and millions of others whose memory she has so shamelessly desecrated. The ADC also says that the, um, the oldest surviving victim of Dr. Joseph Mengele and her daughter Daphne have fought to prevent Candace Owens from holding these events in Australia. The ADC goes on to lament that Candace Owens' vow revisionism in which she claims that the atrocities of Dr. Mengele was subjected who subjected many Jews to experiments and torture were propaganda and is quoted as saying, this is more than just a visa being revoked. This is a tribute to every single survivor who bore witness to the horrors of Auschwitz. They are ecstatic <laughs> that Candace Owens has been banned. Mm-hmm. And I love this for Candace Owens. I'll put the link to these two articles where I obtained all of this information from. So you can read both articles. Both articles has pertinent information to this story where Candace Owens has been quoted as saying some of the most vile, hateful things that she can say about Judaism about um, Jewish people, about Muslims, about their history in general. Candace Owens, may you continue to find out and you continue to fall lower and lower so that you can crawl back under the rock from which you came.